Are you kidding me? What is going on with this team? What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. We are here today for some more F122 My Team career mode with Cyborg Porsche Motorsport. We're in China this weekend. It is raining. And uh, before I get into any spoilers, be sure to go watch the last video. Hit the link up top, go check that out, and then uh, come back to this one. But spoiler alert, if you haven't seen it yet, it was probably the worst possible season opener a team can have. We had a double DNF on lap four. There was an early safety car into turn one right off the opening lap. And then once we got racing again, uh, CRM4 just decided to have a gearbox failure. And then after that, Sebastian Vettel, I guess trying to get out of the way, failed to do so, slams into the back of Lando, who was right behind me, also DNFs, so just absolutely horrible. We only got four laps of racing in, and myself, I'm a gearbox down. Sebastian Vettel, I don't think, had to change any of his components, but very unfortunate start to the season. We are looking to make it up here in Jetta, but as you can see already, it's not going well. It's not going well. We had the little issue at the start of qualifying. It took us out for about two minutes and it's raining. I've never really properly raced China. So it's it's horrible right now. It looks okay. We're two tenths up, but down in P15, it's going to be a struggle to get back out there and make it in to Q2. I loaded up the fuel of the car just so I can put out as many laps as possible because tire wear isn't super important on the intermediates in qualifying. You will lose a little bit of lap time but uh, it more comes down to your own driving skill which clearly here is not very good. We're five tenths up through sector two behind a grand new joe and sergio Perez surprisingly is down in p14 sebastian vettel as well down in p13 he is also looking to uh make up for what happened in the last race i guess on his end a little bit more of a driver error for him so hopefully we can get back on track here in china second race of the season we still got a lot of races left to go so uh, a lot of room to recover, a lot of room to try and make up that loss from last weekend. But across the line in Q1, and it's already a horrible start here in China for myself. Sebastian Vettel up in P6. He's starting behind Sergio Perez, Max Verstappen on pole position. Carlos Sainz in P2, and we are down with the Canadians in P20. Uh, Latifi P21, Lance Stroll P19, but let's get into this race, guys. Hopefully, we can uh, work our way up the grid down from P20 and uh, secure some good points for the team at the very least. All right, so we're here for the Chinese Grand Prix. We're starting on the hard tire. Um, we're going for the long strategy, try and stay on the track for as long as possible. After a horrendous qualifying, what I'm hoping is that teams try to set up their car in a higher downforce setup versus uh, us who are trying to have the best race pace because it doesn't seem like there's going to be any rain. There is a bit of clouds, but uh, no calls for rain at the moment, according to Mark. Yeah, we definitely have some work to do. We're in P20. Uh, Sebastian Vettel's up in P9. Um, and the Lewis Hamilton, our rival, I think he's in P5 or 6, I think. But you guys can see there up on the uh, grid cam, I guess. And we're going to see what we can do. Should be fun. If we can't overtake these cars at the back of the grid here, uh, we're going to have a very, very big issue. This is not the start of the season that I wanted for Cyborg Porsche Motorsport. Uh, we have the double DNF in Jetta, which I just recorded. I wasn't planning on recording this video today. Uh, but after that Jetta finish on lap four, I was like, screw it. We're going to just go ahead and record the next one. So three videos have been recorded today, which is uh, pretty good. But back to the race, we got the two Austin Martins, Oscar Piastri and Lance Stroll right in front of us. 
So we need to get past them quickly and then make our way up to, I think that's one of the Alpha, not Alpha Taris, uh, the Alpha Romeos. As we approach the grid here, I'm gonna burn out these tires. Hopefully, we get a good start here. The fronts are very cold at the moment. Oh my god, this is horrible. Alright, let's get to this race. Alright, here we go for the Chinese Grand Prix. We got five red lights starting in P20, and this race is underway. Okay. My sucks suck ass, man. They're so bad. Okay, I'm gonna go around the outside here. To see if we can just rip it around the outside. Try and get as many spots as possible. Come on. Try not to hit anyone here. But let's go P14. Oh, we got contact with someone. Who was that? One of the Alfa Romeos. Granny Joe dives down the inside. He takes two spots. So we're in a P16 now. Not bad for the first few turns of this race. Going wide on the outside by Alexander Albon. Going wheel to wheel with him. have to leave him a lot of space so we can get it done back in the P16 here. Now let's get Granny, Granny Joe here. Lap 4, trying to at least get him the points. I guess that's the goal for this race. We do see him a little slow. Going to go down the outside. Go deep into the corner. And we're racing Granny Joe. All the way to the final turn here. Just slice about, dive down the inside. That's P15. And we got the DRS. Now we got to catch up to Sonoda. He's 2.7 seconds ahead. Schumacher's in front of him. I kind of want to see where uh, Sebastian Vettel is. So far, so good. No DNFs. Uh, knock on wood. I will do that in just a second here. Knock on wood. Uh, so far, so good. 2.7 still to Yuki Tsunoda. Oh, Tsunoda locks up! Let's go! Okay, we'll take that free spot. Thank you very much. Oh my goodness, we almost wiped out there. But we will take that free spot. Now we're on to Schumacher. But Tsunoda's pace has been decent, so I won't be surprised if he tries to uh, come back at us. We're currently sitting outside the DRS uh, range of Schumacher, which is not good because uh, Sonoda might have DRS here. So yeah, he's got DRS, so we're going to use that battery. Try and fend him off. Let's see, how close is he going to get? I think we'll be good. Verstappen's 2.7 behind him, so he's going to start putting pressure on Sonoda fairly soon. And they're probably going to pit within the next lap or two because I think we're pitting lap 16. So I'm not sure what the stint for the medium is, but it should be soon. And the pack up front is super bunched up. Teammate status. Gap to your teammate ahead is 11.5 seconds. They're on old mediums. They're currently sixth. Your last lap time okay, was nice. at so, 36.4. Sebastian Vettel currently in P6. Not bad. Would like him to be a little higher. He's kind of got to carry the team on this one. I screwed up big time in qualifying. And I even did say in the preseason video that we're going to need some good qualifying sessions. But I've never raced China in the raid like ever. So it's just a god awful qualifying. But we're trying to make up for it here by at least scoring some points for the team today. Oh my god, no way. No way there's a safety car. Huh? No, no, what again? What happened? Sebastian Vettel's out of the session. What happened to him this time, man? A horrible, horrible start for Cyborg Porsche Motorsport. What is going on with our team right now? We are in absolute shambles. No. That is three DNFs. 
to start this season and we're in the second race. Oh my god, so it looks like he's had some sort of engine failure. Oh, okay, we can't worry about him too much because I'm trying to pass Schumacher, so i got to focus here. We're 1.4 behind. We were just outside of DRS range on the last lap, so we've lost a little bit of time. But uh, I'm losing my mind right now over Sebastian Vettel. This is not the start he wanted for uh, his new team. He is. He's staying out. Oh, he dives into the pits. And with that, I think we may just cash P1, but we're going to pit in two laps, I think. So let's see what we could do here in P1 for now. All right, here comes Verstappen. He's going to have DRS. I doubt we could do anything. He's also on much fresher mediums. Oh, boy. Yeah, well, we're in P2 now. All right, let's get into this pit. We got 40% on the hard tires. What? We're pitting this a lot, Mark. What do you mean? Are you good? All right, let's get in. Let's get a good pit stop here. I don't know who we're going to be coming out behind of. Oh, gosh. We are dropping down the field right now. Come on. Optimal. Yes, okay, come on. Come on, get in front of uh, the Haas there. Okay, it looks like we made out in front of the Haas. Wow, these tires feel amazing, and they're not even warmed up yet. Okay, so we're in front of Big Schumacher, which is who we just overtook. Uh, right before he went to pit, so... Strategy is somewhat successful, I would say. Okay, now it's just up to us to... Uh, to oh my gosh. What is going on with our team? we got a DRS issue now. Gosh, and DRS is pretty important on this track, man. Oh my gosh, Mark. Why? What is all the issues? All right, here we are on Kevin Magnuson. A bit of a slip up, but we follow Sloot with that. He's in P11. Max is in P10 at the moment. So if we want to get into the points, we're going to have to pass Max, which is going to be super difficult. Uh, I'm not liking how this race is going thus far, but we have made up a uh, decent ground starting from P20. And we're in P12, so eight spots. Um, I think we should be doing a little better, if I'm being honest. But, oh man, tough start to the season right now. We really lost a lot of momentum. I, Jetta, I was so looking forward to that race too. I'm still salty that we DNF, but we're going to get some uh, DRS here on Magnus and get the pass done on him. Try and make up some ground on Verstappen. Okay, let's get the battery going here. Hey, come on. Yeah, we should get him here. Get the DRS. Ooh, it's going to be close. It's going to be close. Which way are you going? I'm going to go to the inside. Ooh, let's go late on the brakes. Get past Magnuson. He's going to have DRS here, I think. Or do I have DRS? It's a double DRS zone. No, okay. He's going to have DRS here. But he's already pretty far back. Got some information on Alonso. They seem to have an issue. Ooh, Alonso has an issue. That's what I like to hear. That'll get us into the points if he DNFs here. A safety car would be amazing right now, too, not gonna lie. Oh, yellow flag, come on. Ah, I wanted a safety car there. Dan ticked up, drops down to P10. Might have gotten into a bit of a collision, a bit of a scruffle with the other drivers. Ooh, that gives us a chance here. That gives us a slight sliver of hope that we can uh, get past him with five laps to go here. He is going to have fresher hearts at this point in the race, but we're going to try our absolute best to try and catch up to him. He's currently three seconds in front. Catching him at a rate of knots at this point. He might have damage on his car. Driver in front. Alright, loud and clear. Okay, they're on old hard 
our tyres. Their tyres are eight laps old, and the time last lap was a one minute thirty six. Let's see, five. will he dive into the pits here? No. Keep going. Okay, we got an advantage here. Yes! Yes! Let's go! Okay, we got a safety car here. I mean, just as I was about to catch Dan, but I will take the safety car. This gives us a good opportunity to try and make up some more spots in the last little section of this race here. Hopefully our car doesn't explode like it did after the last safety car that we had in Jetta. Oh, yes. The two McLarens are in P1-2? No way. No way the McLarens are up in front. Damn, they are on a rampage. What is going on with that team right now? We got the safety car in this lap. E11 with two laps of racing left. We're going to try and pass Dan Tickton for sure to secure uh, Cyber Racing's first point of the season. And maybe get past Ocon. We were kind of making up ground on them just before that safety car came in but we're gonna see here all right here we go we have a hundred percent battery what are our tires at right now i can't see come on Dive down the inside of TikTok. Let's go. Alright, so we're in the points. So I guess we could say uh, mission successful. But oh god, looks like he's going slow here. Could maybe get another point for the team. We leave the outside wide open. Inside. Ocon and Alonzo going for a nice little teammate battle. I hope one of them hit each other. Just uh, don't hit me in the process. That's all I ask. All right, no contact, no contact. They're keeping it nice and clean. Nice and clean. Otmar's happy about that. As uh, Ocon gets the overtake dub. We won right wide in the last turn. We're going to dive down the inside here on Alonzo. Oh, almost have contact. We are just squeezing him out. And that's P9 on the last lap. Can we get Esteban Ocon to get P8 in this last lap here? We will find out in just a second. We are giving it absolutely everything right now. We're going to use all the battery that we got. Seven tenths. Come on. Oh, we got to have a good little section here feel the tires starting to drop off but hopefully they are still good enough to get us past that red oak on here all the battery that we got left now nah, we're too far back okay we're in p9 he's charging is he charging his battery it looks like he's kind of charging his battery uh no he's not i lied Oh, the lockup would have been so nice in the last turn. So we're not going to pass Oak on, it looks like. Oh, yeah, look, there he is. He's charging his battery. And we just finished behind Esteban Oak on to take P9. I mean, given everything that's happened this race, I will take it. P9, that is our highest finish for Cyborg Porsche. Oof. And we got driver of the day. I mean... Not bad, starting from P20 up to P9, that safety car saved us. Instead of getting one spot, we got two. And McLaren win again! They won again, Lando with back-to-back -back wins. They have the fourth fastest car on the grid right now. I don't know what the heck is up with McLaren. It's a 1-2 finish for McLaren, and I am completely mistaken. I was thinking of the driver career mode, I did say Robert Schwartzman was the second driver but it's carlos signs that he is more than capable of a podium one two finish for mclaren that is crazy lewis hamilton ends off the podium in p3 damn unbelievable race one two finish for mclaren lewis hamilton p3 i get driver of the day 
no fastest lap or anything along those lines in P9. Sebastian Vettel, just horrible, horrible luck. This is probably going to ruin his confidence in the car as he's had two DNFs in a row now. The first one wasn't a mechanical failure. It was more a, a collision uh, because of Lando Norris. We're able to secure two points for the team, which is going to put us in P8 in the Constructors McLaren already has 68 points we are slacking right now and that is not a good sign two races into the season lando norris in p1 doubling leclerc's points on the season with 50 and then his teammate carlos signs down in p4 with 18 points charles leclerc and dan tictum take p2 p3 i'm down in p14 with two points and sebastian vettel is scoreless alongside a handful of other drivers that he should not be with but hopefully hopefully in the next one uh we won't have any issues and it'll be smooth sailing from here but we will see as always though we're going to end it off with some upgrades the first one being an mguh reliability testing just going to increase the reliability of the mguh and then we're going to get a cockpit weight reduction upgrade that will keep us at the top of the r d charts for this season the personnel want to upgrade the gym equipment and i am going to go ahead and accept that because as i said we are trying to keep sebastian vettel happy we're trying to keep him focused for the upcoming races this season but that is gonna be the end of this one guys if you guys enjoyed it be sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe if you really enjoyed it we got imola up next and hopefully i said this in the last video but hopefully we can bounce back we don't have any more failures we got those reliability upgrades coming in after imola so i'm hoping that it is smooth sailing from now uh i had a piss poor performance i mean i kind of made up for it but my qualifying was horrible hopefully there's no rain in imola because i also hate the rain on that track as well but yeah, I'll see you guys in Imola. Have a great day, guys.